Collins Group? Yep. Okay. So this is the top of the page. And so this is just today. I post daily motivational messages every day. And my group is always really good at really staying engaged and posting. There's a sweaty pick. He's one of the three guys in my group. It's mostly women in mine. Um, but here's Gail, who's on the call. She posted the combat um, workout calendar, saying that her favorite thing to do is checking off each day. And then there's Janice, so, and there's me. So I'm always posting my sweaty pick as well, because I want to set the example for everybody else to be doing it. And, um, and everyone's really good about, so, you know, I'm always looking and finding, you know, great motivational. So I said, makes sense, right? Because this says, the better I eat, the better I look. The better I look, the better I feel. The better I feel, the better I eat. I could get used to this cycle. So I said, makes sense, right? Let's get this party started and eat well to start and keep this cycle going. So I'm just looking. And then there's Michelle. Have, there's Brindle. I don't think she's on the call right now. But, you know, I'm constantly posting. And everybody's posting their sweaty pics as well. So it's a really active page. Yeah. And everyone gets really motivated. And really committed to their workouts and their nutrition because everyone's talking about it. Bon, is it safe to say so in this particular group, because of the duration and it's just people coming in, mm -hmm. you know, new people, old people, it's, it's just a, a complete mix of people. You're not pulling per se from the challenge group guys. This is more of a motivational support Correct. group. Is that right? Yeah. I, when I started, I was pulling from the challenge group guides and I used all of that stuff and I didn't want to keep repeating it. So sure. I'm just doing my own. Every once in a while, I'll go back and, you know, and find one that I haven't used in a while for the new people. And I'll still use some of those um, posts from the challenge group guide. Yep. But mostly I'm posting my own. And then, you know, everybody else is posting theirs as well, their sweaty pics. And some people will post, you know, their own, if they see a picture or an article or something that they thought would be good for the group, they might post it as well. But it's a really great page, so I like to stick with it. Great. And then I have, um, so whenever I have a new challenger, I'll plug them into this page, and then I'll send them via private message or post on this page the particular instructions for them to get started in their particular program, you know, in the week zero, so that they know what to do in order to get ready to get started. And, um, and then the free challenge group that I'm doing right now, uh, I don't think I saved it as a favorite. Let me find it. It's the post Halloween. There it is. It's the post Halloween fall veggie challenge. And this is a lot of fun. Um, everybody got really excited about it. I, I did an event for this one. I usually do events for the free challenge groups and I invite everybody. Yep. Um, and then for my paid challenge groups, I just use my personal invites. And when I get someone who does want to join and you know sign on as a challenger, then I plug them into the page. But as far as the events, I usually do that for my free ones. Right. And you, I add everybody. When you say paying challenge group, you mean people that purchase a, a party program from you? Challenge group, yeah, who ordered a challenge pack. But the free ones, I do the event because I just feel comfortable inviting everybody. And so I got a lot of participation. And it's been a really great, so far it's only been, you know, it started on Monday. But I'm having a veggie of the day and posting um, some information and some recipes about each vegetable, whichever the one is for that day. And I ask everybody in the group who want, you know, does anybody have a particular vegetable that you want to learn about? And everyone's been really active in this group. So everyone's really engaging and having a great time and commenting. So it's been a lot of fun. And it's giving everyone great ideas of vegetables to, that they want to try if they haven't tried it yet or new recipes to make with vegetables that they have tried that they really love and just some information about what each vegetable does for you. So that was the first time I did one of these vegetable challenge groups, but I'm really enjoying it. That's great. So I, and I think having a free challenge group going at all times and having, you know, either if you want to have one just for a particular fitness program or a multi-fitness challenge group, you know, for your paying customers, you know, who you already signed on as your customer and ordered from you, then I think that's a, 
a really good way to go. Now, Bonnie, what you're doing here also is you're actually capturing an audience of people that are now engaged by you and your group. It's right. free service. It's great. And right. they're, they're, and they're getting, providing value. They're, yeah. And they're, during the time that they're engaged in this group, I will reach out to each one of them via private message and start that invitation process. Awesome. Okay, yeah. very cool. So it's, it's earning their trust and building rapport mm -hmm. through the free group that is going to get them to like you and, and how this works to then say, hey, you know what, maybe I, I want to do one of these Beachbody programs. That yeah. Once you develop that trust and that rapport with them, then you can reach out and make them feel more comfortable sharing with you yep. what their you know, real deep goals are and why, yep. and, and be more likely to want to trust you to help them reach them. That's uh, fantastic. So I'm going to stop.